Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis and in today's video I will be sharing with you a review of the Duck Brand Marble Peel and Stick Contact Paper that I purchased from Walmart and this has been placed in my sister's shower. This has been about two years ago. I also placed it on her vanity and I did a different contact paper on her tub pony walls around. The difference in what I did with my sisters than what I did with my daughters is on my sister's shower and vanity and tub surround. I used polyurethane to seal it. So if you'd like to see how it's holding up after two years, then just keep watching. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. So I'm here in Baltimore, Maryland, and I've been here since um, Father's Day weekend. And I thought since I'm staying here at my sister's, I would do a review of how this peel and stick um, wallpaper or contact paper actually is holding up what I put in the shower this that I put on the um, pony wall of the tub and around that which is the black and then also what I put on the sink um, let me look on my other phone to see when I did this it has the date and I also put a screenshot as well okay I found it so here it is the bathroom makeover series part two polyurethane peel and stick contact paper installation and it was august oh actually that was her birthday her birthday is august 6 2021 so i wanted to come in here real quick just to say that this date this year is incorrect and the reason why i know that for a fact is because my oldest father my oldest daughter's father passed in July of 2021 and I was with her from July of 2021 until October of 2021 I don't know what YouTube does when they go to review these uh, videos for like music strikes but this date is incorrect I don't know why it's saying 2021 when I did this in 2020 two and upcoming you'll see that this video is only two years old um, I have the arrow pointing right to it stating two years old which would be correct because I did this the following year so again I don't know what YouTube does when they go to review it but I just wanted to prove that this is only two years old and that's when I did this I have the video of where I did the vanity first then I did the shower surround and then the pony wall and then the final video is just showing the DIYs that I made. This is a curtain, shower curtain. We found the frame and behind it is an art piece. She got from the thrift store, I think it was like 20 something dollars, $25. And we bought a shower curtain and did that. She had a bench in here, she put it in her room that I covered. And then this is just the backing of um, peel and stick contact paper. And I laid out this sprig here. I laid this out on that to spray paint it. And when I pulled it off, it left this design. So we used it as art. We got the frame from the thrift store. And um, that was part of the final reveal of showing the DIYs. But this is just sharing with you a review of how this contact paper is showing, I mean, I'm holding up. And also I'm gonna share with you, I did put this on, if you notice, that's not on because she said it came off in one of the slats. I saw it downstairs, so I'm going to put it back up. And we were so baffled because we were wondering, why did this fall off and not this? Because this is what's opened and almost slammed every day, and it stayed on. I told her it wouldn't stay up because it was just um, regular glue gun, but that I can put some E6000 and make it go up, stay up. So I'm going to do that um, before I leave to go back. But... To get to the reveal, um, not the reveal, <laughs> the review. So the contact paper is still holding up. Um, and I'm sorry if the lighting is not good, but um, this is just a impromptu video. Wasn't prepared, I didn't clean her bathroom or anything, just left as is. But I'm just showing you all that the uh, contact paper is holding up still with the polyurethane on it. There's no mold. That's a concern that people have. I did a review on my daughter's bathroom when I did um, her shower surround. The difference with what my daughter has in her shower and then what my sister has 
What my sister has is actual tile. This is real tile. This is, and you can hear, this is not the, um, uh, the plastic stuff. And I'll put the name of it when it comes to me and I'll put it across the screen. But this is real ceramic tile. What that soap dish is made of. I would step in, but I just rinsed the bottom of this and I don't want to get my feet wet. But it's made, this is that ceramic and that's what this is. What my daughter has is that plastic stuff. You see, I put it out here on the edge. And then this here, right here, this is real tile. So this was here. That was not covered. But there is no mold. There is no peeling of any kind. No yellowing or whatever other concerns that people may have had. This stuff, I absolutely love. This Duck Brand Walmart that I purchased from Walmart. Duck Brand Peel and Stick Contact Paper is waterproof. It's mold proof. And it's um, heat proof too as well, I believe. And that I might have stated in one of my videos. I have to find the information about the heat proof. I know it stood up when I put it in my daughter's kitchen behind the stove and there was no damage. So um, it withstood and she washes it. What she uses, I don't know what she uses it to wash. And then the same thing with this on the cabinet. You can see the, the um, I use not a brush, but you can see the what I used is, and I'll put a picture of it, I can find it. It's the bottom of a, looks like a broom, a paint, a sponge, big sponge, and you put a stick on it. That's what I use to um, put the polyurethane coating on this. And you see it's holding up very well. No mold proof, even on the corners. This is sealed in really good. Did not come up, not coming up. Um, that's just soap, I guess. And also up here, all of that is holding up very well. And then also, this is peel and stick contact paper that I um, purchased from Amazon. And it's holding up. I use the polyurethane on this as well, all the way down her wall. No molding, no peeling up. And I love how it works, how it um withstands the water and everything. So, um, I would recommend this. This is good for apartment renters. Now, what I would not recommend in the apartment is putting the polyurethane on top because I don't know how that would act when it comes off. I did do a video of removing it removing a portion from my daughter's uh, bathroom and it didn't have po hers I did not put polyurethane on but to remove it I used a um, heat setting on a blow dryer to remove it I'll put that video in my description box below but I didn't want this to be a long video and I just wanted to share with you all again how this held up. I'm so confused why they have a gold spout here <laughs> and the silver. Oh, I think she might have changed it out. That's what it is. She changed it out because for some reason this is not working. So she bought that and maybe it was gold. And the only thing I hate about these pans, this was scrubbed. You just can't get the stains out and I hate that. It makes it look like it was not cleaned. 
but I scrubbed, I cleaned and scrubbed it myself and you just can't get the staining out. This is plastic, the pan is plastic, but then the wall <laughs> is actually the grouted um, tile pieces. Just don't get it, really don't. But anyway, that's my review of how this is holding up in my sister's bathroom and the shower and the pony wall and on her sink and I painted the cabinets. I still have yet to put those knobs on. I need to ask her for them. There were knobs that I put on and I, because this was, I was trying to get done with this job over a weekend. I did it with um, the glue gun because she didn't have E6000. I was actually doing this late. Um, that's why the knobs, she put them up somewhere for me to put on there. So, if you like DIYs, home decorating, and um, hauls, like thrift and Goodwill hauls, please consider subscribing. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. And for my faithful viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your faithful viewing support. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.